Hey, this is Ed with AtticFoil.com. Welcome to my video series where I answer questions about radiant barrier foil. Here's another question. How much cooler should my attic be after installing a radiant barrier? Now this is a tough one because it could be 5 degrees, it could be 30 degrees. There's a lot of variables, but really your attic temperature, the air temperature inside your attic, is really determined by two things. How much heat or heat gain is coming into the attic and how much airflow or attic ventilation your attic has. Say the air temperature inside your attic is 130 degrees. I could come to your house today, put enough holes in your attic, soffit vents, ridge vent, wind turbine, a combination of air flowing in the bottom and out the top. If I put enough holes in your attic, I could get the air temperature inside your attic to down within maybe 90 or 100 degrees. We could drop it 20, 30, even 40 degrees just by forcing enough air through the attic. The problem is that attic ventilation has very little effect on the top surface temperature of the attic insulation. You could have the air temperature in your attic maybe 110 or 115, but the top surface of the insulation might be 120 or 130. That's because all the heat is coming off the roof and being absorbed by the insulation. You can increase airflow through there all day long, but it really doesn't drop the surface temperature very much. An example of this would be if you've got a hot uh, driveway, you go out and you put a fan and you blow it on the driveway, it's not going to cool the driveway a whole lot. If you put the driveway in the shade, it's not going to be much hotter than ambient temperature. Installing a radiant barrier causes the attic insulation temperature to drop. Basically that top surface of the insulation is going to be within a few degrees of ambient temperature, whatever the outside temperature is. Now, nothing wrong with ventilation, and you want to have good attic ventilation under any circumstance. Now, if after you install the radiant barrier, the attic temperature inside or below the radiant barrier, the actual air temperature is 130, 140, that means you've got really, really bad attic ventilation. You should really try to increase some airflow through the attic. Ideally, after you install the radiant barrier, the air temperature inside the attic should probably be within 10 to 15 degrees of ambient temperature. If it's more than that, it's kind of like having a clogged drain. The hot air is, wants to go up and out of the attic, but because of the lack of attic ventilation, it's essentially backing up and it's filling up the attic with hot air. So when you combine good or decent attic ventilation with radiant barrier, you should have a significantly cooler attic, but even more important, and don't get too hung up about the air temperature, you're going to drop the surface temperature of the insulation, and that's really what drives energy savings. For more information on attic foil radiant barrier, visit atticfoil.com, your complete online source for radiant barrier foil.